Hello viewers, welcome back. I am your tutor, Sarah Maida. So today I'm taking you through CRE Form 2, Lesson 12. We are still under the topic, the Galilean Ministry. And our subtopic today is the temptation of Jesus. Welcome. So we start with our lesson objectives, our lesson goals. What is expected of the learner by the end of the lesson? So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to one, narrate the temptation of Jesus. Two, by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to state the relevance of the temptation of Jesus to modern Christians. Let's look at the temptation of Jesus. We find this in Luke chapter 4, verse 1 to 13. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan into the desert. He ate and drank nothing for 40 days and 40 nights. So he was angry after 40, so he was hungry after 40 days. So it was at this time of weakness when the devil tempted him. And we see that Jesus was tempted in three ways. Let's look at the first temptation. So the devil told Jesus to turn stones into bread. Jesus responded by saying that man shall not live on a bread alone to sustain him, but on everything that the Lord says. So we see that the first temptation, he was told to turn stones into bread. But Jesus replied to Satan that man shall not live on bread alone. Then we look at the second temptation. The devil took Jesus on a high mountain or on a high place and he showed him all the kingdom of the earth. Satan promised to give Jesus this kingdom with all his wealth if only Jesus would bow down and worship him. So Satan was testing Jesus to worship him and that if he bowed down to him, he would give him all the kingdom of the world. Jesus answered him, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. So that was the second temptation. We look at the third temptation. The devil led Jesus to the roof of the temple. So here the devil led Jesus to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. He told Jesus to jump or throw himself down if he was the son of God. For it is written that the Lord God will command the angels to guide him. So you see the devil testing Jesus that he, he threw himself as it is written that God will command the angels to guide him. Jesus replied and said, It is written, do not put the Lord your God to test. Jesus replied that do not put the Lord your God test. So you have seen the temptation of Jesus in the wilderness. The first temptation, the second temptation, and the third temptation. So let's see the relevance of Jesus' temptation or the lesson we have learned from Jesus' temptation. One is that Jesus fully understands our difficulties when we are tempted and he's ready to help us. Jesus fully understood our difficulties when we are tempted, tempted and he is ready to help us. Another lesson that God does not test, test us beyond our strength. God does not test us beyond our strength. His followers must expect to be tested in their loyalty to him. Just the same way Jesus was tempted. Us as his followers, 
you must expect to be tested. It's through trial and temptation that our faith is strengthened. So through trials and temptation, our faith is strengthened. Also another lesson is that we should seek the Holy Spirit. We should always seek the Holy Spirit in times of difficulties and in times of temptation. We have come to the end of our lesson and I will leave you with an activity to answer the following question. Question one, narrate temptation of Jesus. Question two, state the relevance of the temptation of Jesus to modern Christians. For our references, you can refer to secondary CRE student book to KLB third edition. Thank you for joining us for this and more. If maybe you have a question or a comment or a suggestion, you may contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You may also find us on YouTube, Elimu TV. You can also find us on Facebook, Elimu TV, and on Twitter, at Elimu TV underscore KE. See you next time.